welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Caitlin and if you are new here, we talk about all things girly and all things smell good. So if you like that type of content, I hope you stay. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few of my longest lasting, basically like beast mode perfumes. I don't really like using that term because not all of them are going to like project a million miles, but all of these perfumes last at least 12 hours on me. User experience is going to be different from everyone, but the majority of people that I have seen talk about these as well agree with me in thinking that they are really long lasting. All of these I get at least 12 hours out of. Um, they may not all project, you know, four, five, six feet for the whole 12 hours, but minimum at least 12 hours of wear time. Some of them last days. And I have a lot here, so I'm going to jump right into it. I'm just going to kind of give a brief description of each one, just to let you guys know what they smell like. As usual, everything will be linked in the description box down below. Make sure you like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what your longest lasting fragrances are. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well while you are at it. So just to start, I'm going to get the more obvious ones out of the way first, the ones that are really talked about like really often on YouTube and this this first one is one <laughs> I'm still trying to decide if I like I still need to give it like an actual full day wear time but that is Angel by Mugler and this is like an OG fragrance I know so many people have used this for years so I don't have enough experience with this perfume yet to really give you guys a good description on what it smells like but I'm gonna read you guys the notes and just hang in there because there's a lot. So the top notes are cotton candy, coconut, cassis, melon, jasmine, bergamot, pineapple, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are honey, red berry, blackberry, plum, apricot, jasmine, peach, orchid, nutmeg, caraway, rose, and lily of the valley. And then the base notes are patchouli, chocolate, caramel, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, musk, and sandalwood. So there's a ton of notes in this perfume. And like I said, I don't have enough experience with this to really give you guys a great description. But to me, this is a very like warm, kind of spicy, chocolatey, patchouli scent. It's a very patchouli heavy scent. Anytime there's patchouli in anything, nine times out of 10, it's gonna last for forever. This one, I have sprayed on my skin all of like three times not more than one spray either at a time and this projects and lasts for so long and i feel like if you've been in the perfume world um for a really long time more than likely you have smelled this at some point you've you probably own this at some point and this perfume actually came out before i was even born this perfume came out in 1992 so it's been around for a little while so i definitely feel like a majority of people probably have smelled this at least one time but that is one of the most beast mode perfumes it's one of the more obvious perfumes in my collection that i feel like people talk about pretty often just the fact that it's super long lasting um it's just one of those that's it's for a specific type of people and i have not decided yet if i'm one of those people but i have like i do enjoy the the wasps that i got from it so I'm going to see, I'm going to give it another try and see if I like that one. But at the very least, I'm just letting you guys know that that is a long lasting beast mode perfume. And that is definitely categorized as beast mode. Another one from the same family that I have here is Alien, also by Mugler. So this one is probably, honestly, probably one of my favorite perfumes that I've ever tried. It is not for the faint of heart. It's a very jasmine and amber heavy perfume. And this is one that lasts for literal days on clothes. Same with the first one. They last for days on clothes. This one only has three notes in it. So the top note is a jasmine sandbag. The middle note is cashmere in, and the base note is amber. So this is just a very strong, heady, heavy, thick jasmine perfume. It's almost like a, a jasmine syrup. I would put it in that kind of category of just like a thick syrupy perfume in the best way possible. This is such a beautiful scent. It is one that I've gotten ample compliments on and I'm actually going to throw in a 
a more affordable like version of that while I have you guys on here. Like I said, I will have all of these linked down below for you guys too. So I actually just finished this one off this week, but this is called Sacrifice by Ajma. This is one-to-one -to, -one to Alien. It's identical to it. So if you're looking for a more affordable version, definitely just go ahead and get this. I'll link it um, down below. I got this on Amazon, I think. And you guys, it's literally Alien. This is such a sexy perfume. I feel like the older formulation was a little bit better, but to me, this one actually is a lot more similar to the original version. Just a little bit stronger, um, a little bit longer lasting to me versus I think this one is the one of the more recent releases, like more of the recent um, formulation that they had of this one. <sighs> I cannot rave about this enough to you guys. It's not going to be for everyone, but it is long lasting. It's very sweet, kind of like a candied, almost grapey type of jasmine. And it's one of my favorites. And again, it lasts for well over 12 hours and days on clothes. The next one that I have here is one that you guys have seen me talk about a few times, but it's one that I feel like has just kind of taken over by storm. It is one of the best sweet vanilla perfumes, more gourmand, definitely gourmand, but this is Bianco Latte and this is by Giardini di Toscana. And I always feel like I'm going to say that wrong, so I have to read it like straight off of the page of Fragrantica. But this is just a very sweet, vanilla, light, fluffy caramel perfume. And while that may not seem like something that would last for 12 hours, this is beast mode to the T. Like this is the definition of beast mode. This perfume will, you only need two or three sprays of this and it's going to last you for a couple days on clothes. It's going to last for until you wash it at least. If you've tried this, I know that you guys can vouch for it too. I don't think I've seen one person that has said that this is weak. It's just a weak lasting power. It doesn't project. I don't think I've seen one person that has said that. And while I agree that fragrance is subjective, most definitely, if you say that this one does not last and it does not project, it's okay to be wrong. But this one to me is just one that lasts, just smells so good. It just gives you like a sweet scent bubble. It's not too crazy deep. It's not like the most unique perfume on the entire planet or anything like that. But if you like sweet fragrances, you will definitely like this, like a buttercream or like just like a frosting type of vibe. Now this one has, this one has top notes of caramel, middle notes of coumarin and honey, and then base notes of vanilla and white musk. So I know that some people say that the coumarin comes out a little bit more when they first tried this one but the longer this has sat the less of that has come out i get more of the vanilla i definitely get way more of the caramel than i did whenever i first got this and the longer this sits i feel like the better it gets and the longer lasting it gets this is at least 24 hours of wear time minimum it's a beautiful yummy gourmand sweet beast mode perfume next up is instant crush by mancera this is one that you guys know that I have fallen head over heels for and I'm halfway through with it already. This to me is just like a very sweet, airy, warm, spicy fragrance. And it's beautiful and just straight away, this one projects, this one lasts, all of these last. So I'm not gonna keep saying that I guess, but all of these last, but this one specifically this is 100% a beast mode fragrance. If you've tried this one, then you'll know. I think I've only ever seen one person complain and say that this was not long lasting, that it lasted like two seconds on their skin and blah, blah, blah. But anytime saffron is in a fragrance, it's kind of like one of those, to me, and I've heard other people agree with me on this too, it's just one of those that you might go nose blind to, kind of like the DNA of Baccarat Rouge 540, Cloud, um, anything that's in that category, it usually, a lot of people go nose blind to it, and I definitely do too sometimes, but with this one, I, even if I go nose blind to it, for some reason, it'll be like 9, 10, 11 hour mark, and then it just comes back like a storm, just 
out of nowhere I can smell it super strong again like I just sprayed it and it's just as it warms up on my skin it just gets so much better sometimes I can smell it all day long and then other times I do go nose blind to it but just to kind of compare this is just like a very deep a lot more sweet version of Baccarat Rouge and to me honestly I think this might have me in like a slight bit more of a chokehold than Baccarat Rouge or like the Baccarat Rouge DNA. While I do like that, I think that this one is just a little bit better. And this one to me, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this as much as they should. And I get it. Like I know that Mansair is a little bit more of a, it's a niche house. And I know that sometimes their perfumes can be a little bit more on the polarizing side which I definitely get roses of is like one of their more popular ones and I definitely agree that that one is a beast mode perfume I think that one is super strong but I don't feel like I get quite 12 hours on my skin out of that so that's why I didn't include this one I did not include that one but I unclose that one lasts for days so that is definitely one that I also recommend but on my skin I feel like that one's 9 10 11 hour mark and then it just kind of disappears but that could just be a me problem but that's also a great option but instant crush is just like i said it's a very warm sweet spicy it's like a little bit woody type of scent and i'm gonna read you guys the notes here real quick too the top notes are saffron ginger sicilian mandarin and sicilian bergamot middle notes are amberwood moroccan rose egyptian jasmine and indonesian patchouli leaf Base notes are Madagascar Vanilla, White Musk, Sandalwood, and Oak Moss. So if you guys see there, like it kind of has similar DNA to Baccarat, but just more rich, more deep, more sexy. The I feel like there's a little bit more of like a syrupy, thick aspect to this one. And I feel like that's definitely where the, the Amberwood, maybe the Madagascar Vanilla, and the Sandalwood come through. This is a beautiful and again, well over 12 hours worth of lasting time and also one of my most complimented. Next up is a Middle Eastern fragrance. This is by Latafa and this is Kamra. Kamra is another beast mode perfume on me. This is a very sweet, kind of boozy, cinnamony, vanillic scent. And I feel like it almost just is the epitome of like a fall perfume. This has been compared to Angel Share, but I feel like Angel Share has been said to be like more on the boozy side, um, just more cinnamon and booze. Whereas like this one to me is just much more vanilla, slightly less boozy, it is still there, but this one just smells like a sweet vanilla, boozy, almost apple pie, but without the apple. This one, I have gotten you guys see this dent that's just from this the past few months like I think I started using this around September October um I talked about it in a video a few videos whenever I first started using it so it's probably like September October but this is one of my favorite perfumes and I feel like it's such so much worth the money it's got me in a chokehold I can't even talk it's just such a beautiful perfume. It projects, it lasts. This is again one that you spray it on and if once it gets on your clothes, it's there for days until you wash them. So this one has top notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot, middle notes of dates, praline, tuberose, and mahonio, and then base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, amberwood, myrrh, benzoin, and akigala wood. This is just probably one of the sexiest perfumes in my entire collection. This is, again, like I said, one of my most complimented. Every single time I wear this out anywhere, I have someone chasing me down. And I don't care if they're three, four, five, six feet away from me. They can smell it. It projects. It lasts. I can have this on for eight, nine hours later and then still get a compliment from someone three, four, five feet away from me. So it definitely is a very beautiful, yummy, sexy, very sexy beast mode perfume. This is like a sexy gourmand type of vibe and it's just one of my favorites. And most people, if you like that, 
If you like the scent of fall, that like vanillic apple pie kind of cinnamon forward type of vibe, you will definitely like this. If um if um if Angel Share was a little bit too much for you, maybe a little too on the boozy side, give this a try and let me know what you guys think because this is so well worth the money. Next up is another Latafa and this is Buddy Aoud Honor and Glory. This one is a little newer to my collection, so it hasn't had a whole lot of time to sit and mess it. Um, but it's had a few weeks, so it's definitely, I feel like, improved a lot more. I loved it right away, but it just keeps getting better and better. This is like a very sweet, almost candied pineapple creme brulee or like pineapple upside down cake. This is yummy. This is a delicious, mouth-watering perfume. That's me. And I, I think I talked about this in my um, exotic perfume video. This is, it just smells like an exotic dessert. And I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the notes. So the top notes for this one are pineapple and creme brulee. The middle notes are cinnamon, benzoin, turmeric, black pepper. And then the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere, and moss. So like I said, this one to me just smells like a very yummy creme brulee or pineapple upside down cake. A lot of people say that they don't get the pineapple and I don't know if it's just like my bottle but I get the pineapple and I got the pineapple straight away. The very first spray out the bottle it was just like a blast of pineapple and the creme brulee. So I don't know maybe if mine has had time to sit for a little bit longer than theirs has but straight away just yummy delicious pineapple upside down cake. And this is one that I feel like can be worn all year. It's not just like it's not just a summertime perfume. It's not just a, a fall wintertime perfume. It can be worn all year. The pineapple comes through, so it gives me like a little bit more of a summer vibe. But then as it dries down, it gets warmer, it gets sweeter, and it just kind of gives like comfort, cozy, but also very sexy. So this one, and just to clarify, I have seen people say that this one does not last. Now, I don't know if they're just like spraying it straight out the bottle and maybe they had the experience that some Latafas do where they have to sit for a while and then they just get better but maybe they had the experience and they didn't let it sit mine like I said came straight up smelling like it had already sat for a little while it was perfect straight out the bottle right away 12 hours minimum I'm pretty sure I noticed this one I put this one on at probably like 10 a.m and I think I, I noticed this one well into like the next morning. Like I sprayed it on my hand, um, like back of my hand, on my arm, on my clothes. And I could still smell this one on my skin like the next day. So to me, like straight away, this one was phenomenal. Beast mode. Nick even had compliments. Every single time he, every single time I put this on, he compliments it like crazy. So I kind of feel like this is a mad magnet perfume. It just like compliments me like crazy when I wear this one. So there's that. But this is just the perfect, delicious, yummy perfume. I've been loving this one and it's strong. It is, it projects, it lasts. Definitely, again, a beast mode perfume. So I will link it down below for you guys if you want to get your hands on a yummy, juicy pineapple creme brulee or pineapple upside down cake. Let it sit before you judge it and then come back to me and let me know your thoughts. The next one that I have here is one, this is probably honestly my top complimented or at least up there with it. Every single time I wear this, I get a compliment and that is Miss Girl by Okja and then the Paul Reacts collaboration. This is a delicious mashup of Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge by 40. So that was his two, like two of his favorite perfumes mixed together. And it is one of the most delicious combos ever. Like I have snapped people's necks wearing this perfume. Like literally walk by somebody and you see them just spin around on one heel. Like, oh my God, you smell so good. What is that? Just absolutely flabbergasted of the scent. And that's exactly how I feel every time I wear this. This is like my comp. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there was a kid that just screamed bloody murder in the hallway. Good lord. Almost gave me a heart attack. But this is like my confident perfume. This is what I wear when I feel good. 
when I just feel like my absolute best, like I, I look good, I know that like my makeup's on point, my outfit, my hair, everything. And speaking of, this is actually my scent of the day. I'm not gonna touch it up right now because I'm not gonna be able to smell anything after I, after I put this on because it just takes over. But this is like a boozy cherry, airy saffron. It's not on fragrance cup, but just take my word for it when I say that it's a perfect version of like Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540. This is a stunning, long lasting, and I mean long lasting. I put this on when I first woke up this morning. I think I got up around like nine ish, slept in a little bit. I got up around nine ish, and I put it on. I made breakfast, I put it on after that, which would have been like 10 a.m. And it is now 7.38 p.m. And I can still smell it super strong. So that should tell you guys something right there. But I love this one so much. Like I said, it's just a beautiful compliment getter, first of all, compliment getter. But also a beautiful projecting beast mode perfume. And it's one that I love so, so much. And you guys, I'm actually, I forgot to mention this, I'm actually an affiliate with Okja now. So I have a discount code for you guys. This is not sponsored or anything, but I have a discount code for you guys for 10% off of your purchase. I'll put it on the screen right here. And then I will also um, put my link in the description box for you guys too. But use that code for 10% off anytime you guys order from Okja, that way you guys can get a discount. I don't think there's like an expiration date or anything like that on it. So go ahead and use that, save it for later. And also let me know if you guys want me to start putting like all of my discount codes in the description box for you guys. Like even if they're not related to the video, I can definitely do that because I have a lot for you guys. I try to link them or post them anytime it's affiliated to like the video. But let me know if you guys want me to just post them literally with any video. So the next one I'm going to talk about here is actually a dupe of a Grand Soir. I've talked about this one a few times on my channel, but this is a Mason or Mason Fragrance World perfume. And this is called Barricat Ombre Eve. The bottle looks like super similar to the Grand Soir bottle, but it smells just like it. This one has notes of amber, vanilla, um, Siam Benzoin, I think is how you say it. Tonka bean, Spanish, labdanum, and lavender. And I actually kind of forgot that this had lavender in it. But I guess in a way I could see it. I love this so much. So much. This is just like a very sexy, kind of dark, ambery vanilla perfume. And this one, I feel like the tonka bean definitely does come through in this one. So it might not be for everyone. But... This lasts for so, so long. Again, this is another 12 plus hour. I actually, the more I smell this, the more I kind of feel like I get like a, like a lavender that's in, um, Mongerlan. I kind of feel like it's a similar type of lavender. Not necessarily a, not a, um, like a YSL Libre type of lavender. I feel like this is like a warm, sexy, comforting perfume. Like it's very sexy, but it's also, it has that like comforting vibe to it. I think that does come from that lavender and like the mixture of the vanilla. But oh man, this is such a beautiful perfume. And this is also, like I said, this is one that lasts for 12 hours, but this is also one that you can layer with other fragrances. This is actually... I might try to layer this with Miss Girl and see how that turns out tonight. Um, I feel like that would be a really pretty combo. But I feel like this honestly could layer with so many things. This could layer with Ani by Nishane, which is also another Beast Mode perfume. But speaking of that one, I don't have that one. But I do have Nasheet by Latapa. And it's basically one-to-one -one dupe of... Ani by Nishane. Some people say that they get eucalyptus in this one, but I don't really get like a eucalyptus vibe, but it is a green spicy vanilla. So I'm going to bring up the notes for this one real quick. Um, I'm actually going to just bring up the notes for Ani by Nishane. That way I can show you guys, like share with you guys that one, because I don't feel like the notes in like on Fragrantica depict this one quite as well. 
This is in the same scent family as Grand Soir, in my opinion. It's just like a very sexy, slightly spicy vanilla. I can't really tell you if I like one over the other because I crave both of these all the time. These are both such beautiful fragrances. Now, this one here, and I think, in my opinion, the green notes that are in this one and the cardamom are what a lot of you guys smell when you tell me that there's a eucalyptus vibe to this. Because sometimes to me, especially cardamom, the spiciness that it gives does pull, I don't want to say minty, but in that like mint-ish vibe. And that's going to sound horrible, but it's beautiful. This one, so the top notes are ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, and green notes. And this is Ani by Nishane. This is the notes for that one. Um, middle notes are cardamom, blackcurrant, and Turkish rose. And then base notes are vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, musk, patchouli, and ambergris. But like I said, this is just a very sexy, long-lasting, beautiful mouth-watering vanilla like green spicy vanilla it's again a very sexy perfume and to me both of these i would honestly put under the category of like femme fatale because they're very dark kind of like dark vanillic perfumes and i feel like that the darkness comes from like the spiciness that they both give and i'm only talking about these together because they both give me a similar vibe they're different enough to have both but they give me a similar vibe where that's just like the vanilla um kind of the ambery vibe i definitely feel like this one the nushi has a little bit more of like the ginger cardamom a little bit more of the spicy vibe than the grand soir does this one is just more on the side of like the vanilla and amber but it still has that yummy delicious sexy spiciness to it even if you don't like spicy perfumes, I think you should still give these a try because it's not like a resinous, like nose tingling, like you just opened your spice cabinet kind of spice. These are very well blended and I think that they are perfect for spice beginners, especially if you're trying to get into the niche world of perfumes. And these are like a little bit different than what you're used to, not like a vanilla extract type of vanilla. These are definitely good to give a try. Let them both sit for a while before you make your final decision on if you like them or not. They definitely get better with time. Especially this one. I loved it right away, but the longer it has sat, the better it has gotten. The, a little bit more of the vanilla comes out and it's just delicious, sexy. Both of these last for well over 12 hours, no questions asked. They both project very, very well for hours and hours, and I get compliments on both of them every single time I wear them from people standing like several feet away. Now, I am happily going to talk about a celebrity fragrance in here now. This one is one that I've talked about quite a few times on my channel. It is probably one of the most unique celebrity fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. That is Miami Glow by JLo. This is a beachy, summery, like hardcore summer, passion fruit, coconut perfume. It's tropical, but it has a little bit of like a clean, um, kind of like a clean laundry vibe in the best way possible. Once again, it is a yummy, but also kind of sexy, tropical, exotic scent. And the top notes for this one are passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit. So it opens up with a lot of those really pretty, um, like yummy tropical fragrance scents, the fragrances. And then the middle notes are orange blossom, cyclamen, and the heliotrope. And I feel like that cyclamen and heliotrope is kind of what gives it that almost laundry-esque vibe. It's like if, you, if you're doing laundry on a tropical island, that's what I feel like this smells like. And then the base notes are vanilla, musk, and amber. If you guys have seen my video... I've talked about this one a few times and I've told the story of why I feel like this one is a beast mode a few times. Long story short, I had worn this one for several hours in the ocean and then in the pool, had it on my bathing suit, did not reapply, put it on that morning. Several hours later, after all of that being in like 90, 100 degree weather, super hot weather, playing in the water for hours at a time, I still got a compliment on the elevator from a girl hours later going back up to the room going back up to the condo and then 
at first I wasn't sure if that was this or maybe if she was smelling like sunscreen but then I wore it the next day too and she complimented me once again she was like oh you're wearing that perfume again it smells so good blah 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 so that just shows me that this one from someone else's standpoint alone could smell this hours later it sticks to clothes it projects it lasts through this could last through I feel like a nuclear storm or like a nuclear bomb <laughs> it is a beast mode perfume and definitely people can smell it from a long ways away it's a very good cheapie and it's one that is perfect for summer in my opinion especially if you are a tropical fragrance lover now going back to fragrance world I do have here another one that is a dupe for the Mason Francis Kirk Dijon perfumes, and that is Barricat Gentle Gold. This is a dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold. And I'm adding this one in here actually instead of Rose's Vanille because these are very similar, but this one has more vanilla and not the rose that um, Rose's Vanille has. So this one, again, is not on Fragrantica, but I'm going to bring up the notes for... Um, Gentle Fluidity Gold. So Gentle Fluidity Gold has notes of vanilla, amber, musk, woody notes, juniper berries, nutmeg, and coriander. And like I said, this one basically identical to it. This one lasts well over 12 hours. And I honestly feel like this one has gotten even better since I first got it. They're also, like I said, very similar to Rose's Vanille. But this one doesn't have the rosiness, but it definitely still has that like sexy, creamy, woody vanilla that Rose's Vanille has. Um, you definitely get, like I said, the woody notes. I think you get the juniper berries in a way of it just kind of lightens it up. And then obviously the vanilla. This is not the same type of vanilla that Ombre Eve is. I feel like this one is a little bit more... A little bit more on the woody side, but like still very sweet if that makes sense. It's just a very sweet woody vanilla perfume and I always describe this one in a way that I say it smells like a silk perfume. Like it smells so silky smooth. It's so well blended and like I said it, it lasts over 12 hours. It projects very nicely and I don't think I've ever had a time where I didn't get a compliment on this one when I wore it out but just to clarify you guys you can get this one or Rose's Vanille if you're not a Rose fan or if Rose's Vanille was almost there for you, but not quite, give this one a try. And I feel like this one would just be like a little bit better of a version for you guys. Now this next one I'm going to put in here because now I get well over 12 hours of wear time out of this one. When I first got this one, I don't think that it lasted, but maybe like seven or eight hours, which to me is still awesome. It's still a very good long lasting perfume. But now after I've had it for a couple months, well over 12 hours, and it projects the entire time. And that is Delilah, and this was by Mason Alhambra. So there's that. Just the bottle obviously is giving Delina. It's a Delina dupe. This one, I'm going to read you guys the notes for Delina. It has top notes of lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. Middle notes of Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia, and vanilla. And the base notes of cashmere and incense, cedar, and Haitian vetiver. I'm going to read through this one. going to go through this one pretty quick because I've talked about this a lot. And it's a super talked about perfume. The original Delina lasts for ages. Absolute ages. For so long. It's such a beautiful perfume. My phone storage filled up so I had to go delete some stuff. But back to what I was saying. I was talking about Delilah. And this one is just a sweet but tart, very rose-forward, vanillic perfume. The lychee and the rhubarb definitely pull forward in the beginning of this, and then I feel like the rose and vanilla take over about halfway through, so the notes definitely correspond with what I get in this fragrance. And then the base notes, I definitely feel like it smooths out when the cashmere comes in. And then the incense vibe, I feel like just kind of gives it a little bit more of a unique touch in the dry down. It keeps it from becoming just a basic rose scent. It's just the epitome of femininity, sexy, like you've got it together, grown woman vibe. And 
like I said now this one lasts for well over 12 hours on me whereas when I first got it it was kind of hit or miss it was about seven eight hours but this has improved so much so if you get this I'll let it sit for a little while and whenever you wear it just expect the compliments to roll in but also expect phenomenal wear time out of it because that's exactly what it gives and this next one was kind of in the same category of when I first got this one. The lasting power was pretty good, but I definitely feel like the longer it has sat, the better it has gotten. And it lasts for so long now, especially being the scent profile that it is. And that is Escapade Gourmand by Mason Mataha. This is a pricey one, but man, is it worth it. This is like a sweet vanilla creme brulee like a sugar cookie but better just yummy delicious ugh, sugary sweet and i feel like this is one that also attracts people and gets tons of attention but this one has top notes of sugar cane middle notes of vanilla and tonka bean and then base notes of benzoin and musk so like i said this one is so yummy but it almost gives me like a vibe of, I definitely think I get that creme brulee, but I feel like it gives me the vibe of like a crust, like maybe like a sugar cookie crust or something. I'm not sure, but this is so yummy. And I feel like this one, it has definitely gotten a lot of attention, but I feel like not enough, if that makes sense. But I feel like this one is just such a beautiful perfume. Even that aside though, it lasts for so long now. Like I said, when I first got this one, it was it was good lasting power. It wasn't bad. But the longer it has sat, the better it has gotten. It lasts over 12 hours on me now, especially on my clothes. It lasts for days. And it just smells like a warm, sexy sugar cookie, creme brulee, a little bit of like a toasted vanilla. And I love this one so much. You guys see my little baby dent in there? This is one that I've been trying to not use up immediately because I definitely would have gone through this entire bottle already, but it's worth it, you guys. Or if you can find a good dupe for it, by all means go that route, but this one specifically, now that I've had it for a few months, lasts for well over 12 hours, compliment getter, and it's a pretty good beast mode gourmand perfume. All right, you guys, so that was my perfumes that I have for this video that I categorize as beast mode. I have more, so if you guys wanna see more of those, I can definitely pull together a video for you guys. Let me know what your favorite beast mode perfumes are, the ones that last over 12 hours, the ones that project really well, the ones that are just room fillers. When you walk into the room, people know you're there. Or if you leave the room, people know that you had been there. Leave me yours in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like on the video. And don't forget that I love you guys.